Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. In this example, I am going to talk about uh, comma operator. Okay, so you can see a piece of code here. Uh, here we have uh, two integer variables and we are having a slightly different if condition. Right, so we are having an if condition with uh, two comparisons. So you can see that the comparisons are separated by a comma. Right. So here we are saying a greater than three and then once again b greater than three and then we are trying to do a if condition. In normal cases, in normal cases when you do an if condition and if we have lot of comparisons, right, if we have multiple comparisons, we will have logic gates, we will have generally a either a and logic gate or a or logic gate, right, okay. So we have or logic gate or and logic gate and based on those comparisons uh, and then the logic gate we arrive at the uh, expected outcome, right? So this is a slightly different case where you know I have put a comma, right? So we need to understand how uh, this particular uh, conditional expression will be evaluated now. So. I think yeah, you can separate definitely quickly analyze the code because the code is fairly simple here, correct? Analyze the code and then have your deduction how you want to you know deduce the answers and then finally run the code, right? So run the code and then we will see the answer. So let me jump into the lab for this. Uh, make sure your answers are ready. And what I will also do in the lab is I'm going to give again a variation because this is just one example, right? So I'm going to give a variation on uh, the comparisons like this and how you know things are evaluated for a comma comma operator right now okay basically so let's look into this i uh, will go into the lab right okay so what you will see is the original code here right so we will have a code like this so this is the original code the question is, is A greater than 3, is B greater than 3, and then how the output will look like, okay? So let me compile this first. So any guesses here, what should be the answer? We'll run it now. So the answer is true for this conditional expression, right? So, so the system is telling or the compiler is telling that the result of this if condition is true. So let's look slightly more carefully, okay. If you see this code, the first question is, is A greater than 3, right? So let me just quickly take it here, the explanation part. So if you look into this basically, correct? is so value of a is 2 so is 2 greater than 3 the answer is definitely false right so what we are looking at is basically we are looking at something like a false okay is b greater than 3 b is 4 is it greater than 3 yes it is true actually right okay so i think this is what has happened in the expression right so you have a false comma true here right so in, in terms of a comma which is more like a comma operator it is just separating two expressions okay so in really if you see that this is one expression this is another expression technically because it is separating it actually right okay so if you have a conditional expression like this the last one will be holding true for the return for the condition so whatever will be the evaluation of the last expression or sub expression right will be the deciding factor for the outcome of your conditional uh, statements right so if this was true then the answer of this will be true condition so the answer of if will be true and then we'll print this value okay and that is what we saw when we compiled and run this code right so so this this will result in say 
true that's what it is saying right so if this outcome is true and that's what we saw we saw that the answer was true now i will change this code and then we'll try to understand more right so suppose we say yeah instead of this suppose the value of this was say true and true right so let's make true and true so we'll also make a equal to 4 if a equals to 4 and b equals to 4 then what will be the answer so this is also true another one is also true but the last one will always be the important one right it decides the final outcome for the condition if suppose i compile this code right so you can see the compilation the answer is still true now we'll change it right we'll change it further suppose we want to make the second person false b equals to 4 we'll make it b as 2 now okay so b is 2 if b is 2 then you know that a was 4 so this was true a is greater than 4 is greater than 3 but b became 2 so 2 is greater than no it is not greater than it is less than right if it is less than 3 then this becomes false so if in our expression if you see the what is the final thing right so what we are saying is the first part is true but the second part is false so the outcome implies that it has to be a false one right okay so the outcome is false so the last one will be the deciding factor for your if condition let's see whether this is correct or not i will run the code right i have compiled i have coded so we'll compile and run the code so we'll do a cc and then we we'll try to run the code right so when you run the code you got a false right so i think uh, this is a very small exercise uh, in terms of understand the understanding the comma here actually correct so the summary was uh, focus was primarily on the comma operator or separator in this case also okay so uh, if the expressions have multiple commas then you should just look into the last one i think that's the summary of this particular uh, video thank you very much i will see you in another video Okay.